YouTube, it's your boy Jay Gutter in the building. We finna check some people out. Um, I know I had some people on my list, but for the life of me, um, I can't find a list anymore. So <clears throat> we're just gonna go with some people off my uh, friends list. So today, let's start off. Uh, let's check out Dennis and see what he's got going on here. Let me get some volume on here. Rather listen to nothing than just myself. Alright, so this is what Dennis got going on. He's in role players. Alright, so let's check out, see how many five star heroes he's got. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. 15. So he's got 15 five star heroes. So uh, you definitely need to tighten up on that. Um, let's see where his collection lies. All right, now um, let's look at for your guild raid heroes that you do have. Um, I'm not seeing Lee on here. I'm not seeing him, Dennis. You need to tighten up, bro. Where's Lee at? Uh, Lee needs to be your number one priority of people to get. Um, from the Tower of Dawn, you need to go ahead and waste your uh, perfect genes on him and skill him ASAP. Um, in order to be in a, a, a top guild, be a top player, and you know what I'm saying? It's going to take Lee and guild raids for you to be a valuable asset to people. So definitely put him on your agenda of people to get. Um, it looks like you might not be strong enough to farm him regularly. I don't know. I have to look at your gear. So uh, definitely put him on your priority list. Now I did notice that when you're farming Lee. Um, yeah, Razel is going to be the man right there. If you get him and Bella going, you'll be alright. But anyways, let's check out and see what else you got going on here. Um, you do got Lily. He's a one star, which is totally not cool. But you need to unlock that third skill ASAP. Um, I'm not seeing Lilith on here, so you need to put him on your ASAP to get list. So, get Lilith, get Lee, and Lily get him uh, at least to a three star I think it's a two star and you can upgrade his uh, second skill so you need to get up on that ASAP um, <clears throat> let's see here you did get Muzaka you do not have him skilled um hmm you do have Valkyrie have you been working on skilling her perfect Okay, you're going about that right. Max out that second next, and then hit the third, and then the first. Um, with you having Valkyrie, I don't really see the need for Muzaka a lot, but eh, I would probably, since you're low level like this, I would probably put Muzaka over Razel. Oh, you already got a fucking max. I like it. So uh, put Muzaka up on your perfect genes list of people to skill like ASAP right after Lee because <clears throat> uh, sometimes in the Tower of Don Hard um, a good Muzaka will get you through that so definitely put him on your list of people to farm and get situated um, you do have Dolores here now let's get something straight about Dolores Dolores has by far um, I think on yours we can't even look at it he has by far the best fucking soul gear in the game. It adds like an extra, I forget, I don't know the percentage straight off the top of my head. But his passive adds to the the amount of gold that he can, uh, extra gold that you can get. Plus his soul gear adds on top of that, which is fucking OP as shit. By far the MVP and uh, PVE farming. By far, need Dolores, get his ass going. So uh, upgrade him. To where he's not just like dead weight dragging along with your party when you're farming for gold so make sure you get him get his soul gear i would definitely put that on your priority of things to do 
um, you do got Rab off here, you need to get this skilled ASAP. So get that skilled up there and um, you'll be fine. So put him on your daily people to farm. Um, get his soul gear. It is his weapon that does the that increases his disarm chance. You have to get that um, Let's see here. You do got Moss here. I don't know why you're slacking here I see you got five-star heroes man. You need to upgrade this man very valuable in guild raids um, Just on the one boss alone. He does a good job. So he's worth using and um So get him leveled up oh, shit I didn't mean to do that. Um, so definitely, at least it's five star. You know what I'm saying? And, and max him out. I mean, it's not hard to farm Moss. So uh, get him going. Unknown's a good person too. Let's see. Do you have Moo? You do have Moo. You almost got her max. Okay, keep doing what you're doing. Get Moo maxed ASAP. And then as soon as you're done with that, start working on Unknown. Get his third skill maxed as soon as possible just for the guild raid bosses he's fucking op as shit um when was it today's guild raid boss not there after the reset but today's um i always use unknown he's fucking awesome he's op as shit um let's see here who else you got um she's fucking op as shit so you're not wrong here. Um, if you want to go about skilling her this way, that's fine. Get her passive going. Um, I do notice that her uh, second skill is not as not as powerful, but her uh, seal there is fucking OP as shit. So uh, I don't know, man. I would probably go. I'd probably go for her passive first, and then then hit the second, and then the third. But I mean, it's your own personal preference. Um. Let's see here, you do got a dirty dom. You do not have her skilled. You need to start farming her every day. Um, that will be your rock DPS. She does a damn good job and with her soul gear is just fucking amazing and super broken. So you want to put dom on your daily farming day. Um, do you have crut? You do have crut. You do have him maxed. Um, on the days that you can use a rock DPS, it's just hard for the fact that um, crut with especially his passive and his high ass defense it's hard for him sometimes um to die before muzaka i mean depending on your type of gear or what you got we'll go over your gear here later um just from looking at your muzaka it doesn't seem like you have too much so you're definitely free to up oh, you ain't free to play player what is this what is this can't cl can't claim that you're uh, free to play when i see some uh, hero like this but i like it um now, as far as your paper DPS goes, nobody in the game hits harder than her. Um, her when she brands, and it's guaranteed every time on these guild raid heroes, I mean the guild raid bosses, just OP as shit. She right there is going to be your bread and butter as far as your paper DPS goes, and then and then uh, Razel over here. So the two of them comboed up together um, is easily going to give you... I mean, even as free to play, man, you should still be able to get like 800. You should probably be able to hit close to a million with her. And then Razel, you should be getting probably around 800,000. So they're going to boost up your score a lot. So definitely uh, max level them. Um, put, put her on her, uh, get her third and her second max there. Um, but put that on your like third, third priority list of people to use uh, perfect jeans on. Now uh, you do have Chenny. Okay, uh, Chenny over here is a is a fucking monster. She's a beast, especially uh, when you don't have a lot of heroes like you do in PV PVE. She's awesome in the tower. She's awesome. So I don't know why you haven't farmed her, bro. But you need to get up on that like ASAP. Get her skilled and leveled. Um, Chenny used to be my bread and butter. I used to love her to death. So uh, don't be shy. There's no reason I should see Pony over here. He has a four star. And you've been farming his ass every day. 
and but you can't can't look out for Chenny man tighten up bro um okay so let's keep looking um you do have rage you have not spent any of the blue jeans on him um I would recommend as far as rage goes um he's okay but Dom and Crut are gonna out damage him so rage is really not not really that important of a hero to have so I don't see Tao on here so uh, Tao make sure that you get her and uh, waste your uh, blue jeans on her because she'll help get you through that tower she's just OP as shit now I do see that you have been farming Jin okay make sure you start farming her every day get that going uh, the way that you're going about it is fine get the passive and then the third and then you can start working on the second so that'll be cool she can be your uh, scissor um, DPS um, but you gotta get Lee so her and Lee are gonna be the combo for you they're gonna do just fine um, you do have serenity oh you gotta get her max bro like ASAP get her max um, especially in the Tower of Dawn she's gonna be awesome now judging from your heroes I mean I don't know if you're able to beat Tower of Dawn normal mode you did get your free set so it does look like you're running Rask um, I'm sorry to see this because without some type of an MP set she's like kind of uh, she's kinda of not really the hero that you want to use so if you wanted to use a scissor hero even uh, Rena over here I like her a lot better and you got her maxed. Um, I would definitely go with Rena over uh, Rask as far as people into your party goes. Um, I'd like to see Chetty. That would be the more ideal situation. But um, yeah, I would take off this Defender of Earth set and definitely put that on whatever tank that you're using at the time. So make sure that you do that. Um, let's see here. So, hero-wise, you did get Alex. Eh, I'm not really too big on Alex, so don't waste your your uh, blue jeans on him because your main motivation right now has to be the clear Tower of Don Normal and clear Tower of Don Hard because you need to get those free sets every month. That's going to really elevate your uh, level of play. Um, Chris is not bad on some of the guild raid bosses, but eh. It doesn't hurt to 5-star her. You can leave her at a low 5-star. It's just all about her stun. So, um... Yeah, you're looking pretty good. Now, let's check out some of your gear and your hero builds. Okay, so you do have almost 30k attack, which is good. Um, for a free-to-play, and especially being early on in the game, being able to hit 30k... Uh, attack is pretty decent. Uh, her crit rate's a little low. Oh, you ran all defense on her. Damn near. Um, let me look at her information again. Yeah, you got. You do got forty nine percent defense. I would still drop two of these defensive pots. Um, maybe just drop one. Drop one and add a crit for sure. Um, now let's look at her equipment. You're looking good there as far as all bows. I like how you went with the Platinums because they can be transcended, so that was a good move. Um, try to get those going as soon as possible. Oh, uh, you do got a rig. See, this is your problem right here. You're running all these damn rings on her. You need to put some brooches to get her... Uh, to get her uh, defense up there okay now this is a is a necklace and this is a necklace this necklace right here is all that you need on her so make sure that you take this off um it does have really really nice potentials but if you have like a brooch that you can put there instead that would be more ideal for the situation um same thing here so replace this with a brooch this with a brooch this with a brooch, this with a brooch. Um, you can leave one ring if you want to, but I would put, uh, like this ring is fine if you just want to leave one. 
but it's more about the survivability. <sighs> Sorry. It's more about the survivability, so I would definitely go brooches, especially if you're free to play. So that's not a bad build that you got going on there. If you address those few things, then you're going to be okay. Let's check out your crut. Uh, your crut's almost at 30k attack also. Um, first thing that I'm noticing here is his mastery is way too low, so you need to at least put one necklace on him. His crit is fucking terrible. You have to address that. His defense is good. I would drop a couple of those defenses and put some crit on him. Okay, this mace has to go. You got to put a bow on him. Um, this mace has to go. You got to put a bow on that also. Now, uh, Crut does have like a slight of a hit rate problem. Um, so you can leave one sword. So this sword's looking pretty damn good. So I would definitely leave that sword. Put the rest bows. Um, you are going with all armor. Now we have been getting gold. You need to make sure that you start farming gold every day because we need to get these gears upgraded. Um, get them upgraded as soon as possible. Replace. If you put like a, what you got here? Okay, that's a brooch, brooch. You got a ring, a brooch and a brooch. Um... I like your brooches because he's going to be tanky as shit, but take this uh, three-star ring off right here and make sure that you put a necklace. you got to bring up his uh, mastery. You're going to see a lot better damage as far as output goes. And you need to work on getting his armor to a level 10 as soon as possible. So don't be, don't be shy to do it. So uh, get that done. Uh, let's look at some of your potentials here. Okay, that one's perfect. That's a perfect bow. So as long as you strive to make all of your bows look like this and all of your weapons, you should be fine. Um, let's see your armor here. Armor looks beautiful. So that's what I like to see. Um, yeah, that's really good right there. He does have the hit rate problem. So having the, the hit rate by a percentage is fucking OP as shit. So you do have the most important, the HP gain and the attack by HP. Um, I'm liking it. Um, I would. I mean, it's a pretty nice piece right here. It's platinum and you can transcend it. So I wouldn't mind seeing an increase in uh, crit rate by a percentage of defense. That would be an awesome pot to have on somebody like Crut who does have the natural high defense. So that looks great. Um, you need to reroll the shit out of that one. Um, this is to the legendary status already. The first thing you should lock in is your attack by HP. Second thing is that crit damage. And then the crit rate and then your personal preference. That's looking good. That's a perfect that's a perfect piece right there. So that's how all your five star accessories should look. Looks fucking awesome. Um so yeah, if you you fix those few things, I think you're gonna be alright. We need to get his crit up there. So you need to put a crit rate potential on every last one of your uh, accessories here once you get them up to legendary. And I think that your crut's going to be just fine. Um, you should be running jacks. Do you have them skilled? Oh, dude, max out jacks, man. Because uh, it's looking like you haven't beat the Tower of Dawn normal because I'm not seeing no evidence of sets anywhere. I mean, I do see this set. So, I mean, I guess you could have beat normal mode. I mean, I'm just not sure, but I'm going to take it as that you haven't. Um, you got to skill him, dude. Jax is still the MVP of Tower of Dawn normal mode. He's a fucking monster with his uh, third skill that takes a percentage of max HP. So uh, I would like to see you farm him every day. At least get him maxed out. You need you need to get you a Jax going there. Um, let's see here. Okay, so you got the... 31k attack, you do have a 50% crit, 60% defense, 100% mastery, that's looking good. Whew. You already have pretty high defense on him. And drop three of these defenses and put crit rate. Um, same thing with here, 
Now Razel doesn't really have a hit rate problem so it's okay for you to go all bows on this. You can leave one sword if you want to, whichever one's the best. Uh, that looks like your best sword right here, this two, two star one, so you can leave that one. But make sure you replace this with a bow. All your armor's good on there. That's an OP necklace. Brooch is looking good. Now this is the only accessory to where you can get the negative percentage of damage taken, which is pretty awesome. Um, the crit rate is a little low, but I'll, but it's better than nothing. So I mean, you'll get your potentials. I did make a video on potentials on what to aim for, so uh, I think you already probably checked that out so you know what to aim for. So definitely get your gear up to get date on him, so he's looking good. Uh, doesn't look like you're using her. Now this set right here is actually a really good guild raid set, so that's a nice set to put on people. Um, I like this set a lot right here. So, you didn't do bad there. Let's see, who else could you possibly be using? Oh yeah, you're using her. Now as far as your Defender of Earth set goes there, you can waste your potions all day on this thing. Uh, actually that looks pretty fucking spiffy. That's fucking amazing. Okay, so this just needs a little bit of more work. Just get the crit on there. Get rid of that uh, MP and the damage to boss. Um, I would take this set off and just put it on the tank. Whoever you prefer to use, just put it on them. They're going to be okay. They're going to excel. They're going to do good. Um, we're not even really going to go over a build for her because I just feel she has serious MP problems. So you can't really cast her third and spam it really at all so um, yeah I would recommend dropping her from your PVE uh, list here ASAP um, how are you doing on skills with Valk? I know her skills are not at a high level right now but you need to be buying her skills every day and uh, max out this second and I would plug her in plug her in ASAP put that Defender of Earth set on her and uh, get her geared up and going and you're gonna be okay now now hold on where's my dog at okay I'm not seeing bear man at all you need to get him ASAP put him on your daily farming list because uh, bear man is by far one of the best tanks and especially and uh, with his aggro pole and especially in the Tower of Dawn he's gonna help you out so much just go in there and hit that third skill and just fucking let it let him do his thing and survive and especially what you have in a defender of earth set if you had a bear man with that uh the tower uh, normal mode would be super easy for you um so make sure that you get him and everything who else could you possibly have gear on that we have not looked at yet no Uh, oh, you do have Bear Man. All right, I take it back. I take it back, homie. Um, how's the skills doing here? Oh, dude, you need to farm him every single day. Every single day. Um, get his third going. But he's like one of these types of heroes, to where it's cool if you like do his passive and his third and upgrade him at the same time. So as long as you have these two right here, his second you don't really care about. His first, uh. Max that out last because that stuns OP. Um, so yeah, Bear Man's the truth right there. Especially since you're trying to clear the tower this month. Make sure you put the Defender of Earth set on him and just go ahead and build him. He's going to do the damn thing for you. So uh, yeah, make Bear Man hold shit down for you. Um, you do got Cleo. Now Cleo would be a good hero for you. Um, when you're going around farming and stuff and even in the tower. Her confusion is amazing. And uh, her her adding to crit rate for her passive is where it's at. That's really going to help you out since all of your heroes have kind of a uh, low crit rate. She's going to help you out a lot. So make sure that you get her and uh, make sure that you get her going. Uh, Jillen, Gillen, whatever you want to call him. 
okay, you are working on that. Yeah, get his third max as soon as possible. So farm him every day. Um, but all in all, I think you're looking pretty fucking good. Now, what's your lord level? Yeah, you're 67. Um, so you're still new to the game, pretty much. I think, I think this might be like a different account for you or something. I think that you maybe had a different account. Maybe not. I don't remember. But all in all, you look pretty good. As long as you follow those steps, I think you're going to be fine. Um, yeah, you need to get Moo going there as soon as possible. She's fucking OP as shit. So start farming all those heroes, and I think you're going to be all right. Anyways, um, that's it for us. You know, checking out my dog, Dennis. That's my homie right there. Anyways, it's Jake Gutta in the building. Holla at your boy.